We made it to Finisterre, here we are, um, on a beach, just a little alcove down there, and um, we took a bus, we didn't really walk, but we're not having time, we've got to be home on Saturday morning, so we've only got three days and we didn't want to spend the whole time walking. This is our holiday, this is where the holiday really begins, so we're just going to lie on that beach for three days, maybe go on the port up there and have some beautiful food. Um, but uh, we made it. We have our Compostela, Santiago is done. We met some great people. We've had their ups and downs, um, but mostly some brilliant memories. Had a really good time. Um, moving, yep, spiritual, yep. Uh, funny, yes. Amazing, yes. Everything really. It has just been, it's just been absolutely awesome. And uh, now we are here in uh, uh, Finisterre, or Fistera, and having a lovely, relaxing time before we come home. See the Santa Kids playing down there? Down no, there, no, it's really nice. Uh, any advice I would give? Do allow yourself some time to come to Finisterre. You do deserve some rest, some downtime after it. Um, do um, pack warm clothes as well as something cool. So at least a jumper, maybe some leggings or something that you can wear. Um, you will need a sheet or a duvet or a, a sleeping bag. or Not a duvet, sorry. You'll need a, a sleeping bag or a, a, light, a light one or sheet, I just had a sheet really, but sometimes that was freezing cold. Um, what else would you need? You'd need, uh, I'd recommend doing parts of it on your own. You do need to be by yourself sometimes, as much as you need to be with people. Being with people presents a whole new set of challenges. Every time I've experienced groups on the Camino, um, there's always been disagreements, um, there's always been different agendas, different people wanting different things, um, different priorities and different goals. And everyone thinks their goals are not goals. Uh, you know, they think they're different. But at the end of the day, it's all, you know, difference. And if you wanted to find the space in your mind, a peace of mind, then you know, I'd recommend doing the Camino by yourself. Um, however, I did that by myself last year. And this year it wasn't about that anymore. It wasn't about being on my own. It was about moving forward. It was about the future, which is why the second time I came around, now I'm with friends. And you know what? We've had the best time. We've had a really good time. Couldn't, couldn't imagine two better people to do with. Yes, of course, we've had disagreements. Um, but then we wouldn't be human <laughs> if we didn't. That's what makes us different, I guess. Um, but so I've had the best of both worlds. It's not. You don't need to be doing the Camino um, all at once. Some people have been doing it for years. They've been doing it 100 kilometers a time. That's seven years it take. Maybe you want to do, um, uh, I don't know, whole stages at a time. You can do like stage one, the Pyrenees, stage two, the Masetta, stage three, the mountains. It's, uh, it's up to you. Uh, some people have started walking in France, some in Germany. They're absolutely bonkers. <laughs> um, either way, do it in your own time. Take your time. Don't be dictated to by anyone else. If you want to stray from your group, stray from your group. You'll meet up with them. And if you don't, meet up with them. It's, you know, it's just, it, it's not a big deal. And that's the thing. I think if there's something I want to say that I've learned from, the, from, from, from this walk, that is to not worry. One of the biggest, the main quotes that I picked up along the way is uh, worrying is praying for the things that you don't want to happen. So when you're thinking about the worries and what it is you're afraid of, then what effectively you're doing is you're creating, you're making it happen, you're creating it, you're creating, you're asking for it to happen by focusing on it. So shift your focus, move your focus away from the things that you don't want and focus purely on the things that you have and visualize the things that you want. Um, 
because you'll never be able to protect you. If there's things that you don't want to happen to you, well, no one probably wants them to happen to them. And, and, and if they happen, well, that was because it was unavoidable. And so they're going to happen. So don't worry about it until it happens. There's no point. Um, so yeah, don't worry. And like I said, I think in the last video, um, being, with it being so busy in the last, week, last stage, it presented these ch challenges. Am I going to worry about accommodation? Am I going to worry about where I'm staying, where I'm sending my bag to or whatever? I didn't send my bag anywhere, but some people do. Um, am I going to stress and try and get the best deals, look at reviews and all that rubbish? No, don't, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Um, and, then, and then I realized something. I'm not, I didn't learn that on the Camino. I re-remembered. I came here to remember what I already knew, what we all already know. There's no use in worrying. Life does provide. The Camino, you can say Camino will provide. Camino does provide, so does life. Life provides, it always has. Worrying about things doesn't help it to provide. Worrying about things puts you in a different space, a different space where you can't be helped. You can't be helped but by your own intervention, but by your own action. If you think that you can only, that, that, that your own intervention, your own action, from a place of stress and worry is going to be constructive in any way to where you want your life to be, then you're going to find it very difficult. And so simply, I just, I just remembered these things. So yeah, I'm on the right path. Always have been. I didn't come here to look for what the right path is. Yes, it raised questions of what next. But I think I know in my heart what's next. I'll figure it out. Um... But it is about the future. I learned that I need to stop. This was one of my biggest worries was getting old. I'm not even halfway to old yet. But I feel old. I feel like I'm getting old. My hair's falling out. My face is sagging. I'm not going to the gym as much as I used to. All these things I can change. But I don't need to worry about them because, yes, it might be falling out, but it hasn't fallen out yet. I've got a few good years ahead of me. Many years. I'm going to start living them. Doing the things that I want to do. Without worrying what I ought to do. I don't know, maybe I'm waffling on. Uh... I've learned that I can walk 700 kilometers. Not in one go, obviously, but I mean, 400 kilometers a go is, is uh, good going. I've not worried about money, thanks to my friends. Uh, and I am confident in myself. Yes, I'm not gonna come back a changed man. Probably still going to whinge and whine and moan, but I'll do it with confidence. <laughs> I love me.